And just a reminder that you can follow all the action of these championships on the official Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram accounts of the Badminton World Federation. And in addition to that, you can watch daily live streaming of the Para Badminton World Championships on YouTube at badmintonworld.tv. Our social media is really in full swing. Moment, lots of good stuff on there on those various platforms. So back inside the hall then as we prepare for our third semi-final of the afternoon as it is here now. And it's uh, the men's singles and Kento Momota, the top seed, reigning champion, up against Saipanith of India. Somewhat surprised to me, Finest. I think even he might acknowledge that. He had a great win yesterday over Jonathan Christie. Here's how the draws panned out. That second semi is in the evening session. That, that should be a terrific match, Antonsen. Uh, of Denmark against Wang Chadawan of uh, Thailand. There you see that victory yesterday for Praneeth. Straight games against Christie. Momota nearing 400 career matches, 300 plus already for Praneeth. He's actually three years older than the Japanese. I'm going to ask you, Morton, about this, because if you're Mamota, you probably, with all due respect to Praneeth, would not have been expecting to face the Indian in the in the semi-final. I mean, when you played, how far ahead did, did you look towards the draw and figure out who you might play, or did you literally just take it one game at a time? I know that, uh, of course, everyone is saying it, and it's actually the truth. You never, ever look ahead. You just focus on the match in hand, and that's it. Whatever happens on the other courts and what's going to happen tomorrow, just disregard it. You've got to focus and channel every single, single attention on to playing the match that you're supposed to play. Well, I'm sure there'll be no complacency from Kento Mamata as he arrives on stage to a huge cheer. He's a really popular player. Uh, he's hot favorite to win this one, no doubt. But this is a huge surprise, Sai Praneeth. He has played an awesome tournament so far. Yep, ranked 19 in the world. But he does have a habit of upsetting higher-ranked players. So Mamata will know that. And will be taking this guy extremely seriously. Pretty close, 3-2 on the head-to-head. -head. Last meeting was won by Mamota in straight games, but two fairly tight games. Got some Mamota fans in there, I think. Not too much to say about this guy that hasn't already been said. Number one in the world, just got that explosive movement. There's always a an air of unpredictability about him as well. He's a very stylish player. And he's had a good year, which began when he won the German Open. He won the All England, which, of course, is a huge tournament. Singapore Open and the Japan Open as well, which would have given him particular pleasure on home soil. And so far, hasn't dropped a single game. Pranoy gave him the most difficulty. Other than that, his matches have averaged about 35 minutes. And his opponent from India, 
confirmation of that 19 ranking. He was up at 12 that year and a half ago. Seems amazing to think nearly a decade since he won a, a bronze at the World Juniors. Yep, 2010. He did get to the final of the Swiss Open, so obviously something about playing in Basel appeals to him. That was this year. Got to go back to 2017 to find his last tournament victories. There's his record, and he has not dropped a game either. And he's knocked out Ginting and Christie, two big names. And at the moment on the race to Tokyo, he is a number 12. And that means that he's the top qualifier from India at the moment. So ahead of uh, Pranoy and Sami Verma. Uh... Umpire here is Paul Buffin from England. Iris Metzpelu from Estonia is the service judge. I reckon... Pranif is going to try and get off to a quick start, just as he did yesterday and in his last 16 match as well against Ginty. Yeah, he's a very, very good technical player. He's got all the shots in the book, and of course that's how he's upsetting his opponents. He's got very nice attack and is very unpredictable. You don't know where it's coming. On the other hand, the world number one and uh, the defending champion of the tournament, Momota, has got a very, very strong defence. So let's see how this is panning out. Well, that's the game plan, isn't it? Just try and put Mamoto under pressure. Let's try and knock him out of his rhythm. Yeah, the first uh, slice was actually directed to, to one of the weak spots of Momota's defence, and uh, the reply towards the net was not the best, and that's where Cyprinith went in and killed it. I think we might see Momota make extensive use of that drop shot today. Yeah, Momota is strong when it comes to his uh, around the head situation, his backhand situation, his good attacking down the line. But this is where we see West Side beneath his good. Look at how he's wrong footing Momota on the smash first that reverse smash and then of course the follow-up just slightly wrong footing the motor and that's enough Usually Momota is playing with very, very good length on his shots, which means that when Cyprinith decides to attack, it could be from a slightly disadvantaged position.
this is the first time we see a 100% smash from the motor. It's not very often he goes 100%. It's more like a 75, 80% and then making sure that he's in perfect balance for the next shot rather than trying to go for the big kills. And that's a variation to not often see from uh, Momota because he really favours to go down the line from that around the head situation. To try to have a look at this one. This one is going on the forehand side at the centre. And that's not very usual for him. Doesn't like too much to go cross court on these kind of shots. Well, we're not expecting. Too many lengthy rallies between these two. Praneeth, in particular, wants to play short, quick points. Just missed it. Saipranith is doing the right thing here. He's really approaching that shot very, very early, guiding it cross court. Unfortunately for him, it's going in the net, but he's doing the right thing. He got there very early on it. <laughs> well reacted, Mamota. And this is where Cyprinith have to watch out because there's no doubt that when Momota is attacking, he's feeding off the pace of what the opponent is giving him. And very often he finds it difficult when he's uh, playing someone who's playing higher lift and uh, taking more time out of the game. So when uh, Cyprinith are playing these shots where he's going fast, he must make sure that he's sort of outmaneuvering uh, Momota. Otherwise, he will attack. And then he's feeding off that pace. Well, it tends to be either feast or famine, doesn't it, with Praneeth? And that was definitely feast. Yeah, good attack, good smash down the line here. Good power. As you rightly said, Trevor, Kento Momota is really having a good following here in uh, Switzerland. Well played.
play. And I think Momota is possibly a little bit scared of the attack from Cyprinith. And you see that Momota is, I think, a little bit more aggressive than what we normally see him. He tried to avoid that Cyprinith is actually attacking him too much. Leave. That's a good, that's a solid defence there by Saipanid. Very well spotted. Absolutely fantastic. Don't think Mamota could quite believe it came back. Thank you. And it's one of the shots I've been looking for from Mamota, that cross-court smash, because he's so favours to go down the line. And look at that defence from Saipanid. In so many occasions, that would have been a straight winner. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant from the Indian. Couldn't do anything about that, though. And it's given him slight advantage at the interval. Too good from a motto.
good attack and clear by Momota. That's out. Just starting to assert now, isn't he, the Japanese, after a very bright start from Praneeth. Praneeth really have to keep a tight ship here and really have to stay focused. He cannot afford these kind of mistakes. But it is a long time since I've seen Momota be as aggressive as I've seen him today. Not quite. Still capable of finding winners like that. A trademark shot from the Indian. Cypraneeth really have to step it up, try to step up the uh, attack. It's not that he's playing poorly by any standards, but if he wants to beat Momota, he's got to step up a little bit more, be a little bit more aggressive. He can play the winners. It doesn't seem there's a lot to stop Momota from taking this opening game. I think he has played excellently, really composed. I like he's been more aggressive. Taking control now, the Japanese, just a couple more points to secure this opening game. Obviously going to be a, a massive year for Mamata next year with Olympic Games on home soil for him. Yeah, and as you said uh, earlier, won four tournaments this year so far, but on top of that, he's also won the Asian Championships. So four open events plus uh, the Asian Championships this year. 13, 20. Well, 
those four tournaments he's won might become five by a closer play tomorrow. He's halfway to a place in the final, 21-13 in that opening game against Pranith in less than 20 minutes on court. Second game, love all, play. Well, you've got to think from Pranis' point of view, he has to make a fast start here in the second game, otherwise this match could be over pretty quickly. I completely concur with you on that. It's important for him to get a good start, get some confidence back. Lost the first 21-13. First half of the first game, he was close, he was there, but then... Momota, he pulled away. Oh. Uh, we have a challenge. challenges called out. Looked long to the naked eye, but Hawkeye will double check. Yeah, you're right. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining, service over, one all. Play. And that's good play. That is very nice to play by Saifanese. See how he is setting up the attack by putting that pressure on the forehand, the deep forehand corner of uh, Momota. And then, of course, the straight smash down the line. But at that, he had so many opportunities. He could have sliced, he cross court, whatever he wanted to do. He had lots of opportunities. Well played by Saifanese.
not a big man, Mamoto. He's 5'9", but he gets prodigious height in those jump smashes. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's a good reply there by Momota. mentioned earlier in the opening game when uh, Cypher Neath is lifting yes. from the net and he's playing these pressure lifts as what he's doing, then the smash and the reply from Momota is getting better because he's feeding off the pace. So he, if he doesn't want Momota to be able to hit as hard, he must lift it a little bit higher and not playing these pressure shots. But I think it's in the DNA and the game of Cyprinith to play these pressure shots the whole time is sort of that's his game plan and he's got to watch out and really have to try to cover that backhand side as much as possible as soon as Momota is in the attack smash down the line again If you are Sai Praneet fans, very discouraging because he needs to put those kind of shots away to make, give him a good chance to beat Momota on a good day, as I think Momota is playing really well today. Yeah, Momota really consistent, very few errors. clinical at the moment. Well, when Mamotta's in this kind of form, Pranith just can't afford that kind of a mistake. No, it brings back to what we actually said in the opening statements. We are having a good attacking player against a very strong defensive player. And at the moment, uh, Mamotta's defence is holding up very, very nicely. And uh, you can see signs of desperation from uh, Sai Pranith. Just relentless, isn't it, from the Japanese at the moment?
service over. Thank you. Service over. Again, a fine example of the good length that Momota is playing, which makes it so difficult for Praneeth to really set in the good attacks. Right on the back line. So a pretty one-sided first half of this uh, second game. Praneeth in big trouble, a game down, and now 11-3 behind as they go for the interval. believe that I cannot believe he pushed that one out of the back line yeah I mean you could have put it anywhere Mamota was completely stranded at the front of the court this is a beautiful shot look at that but that push out of the back line a Cyprinith has only got one chance as, as we look at it now he's got to go crazy attack he, he's got to try to do whatever he can to upset the rhythm of Mamota and then go for the whatever technical skills he's had and then go for the big smashes. A little like uh, a boxer who's been thoroughly outpointed and he's not his opponent out in the last round. But it looks unlikely to happen the way Momota is playing here. Only been on court just over half an hour. And he's closing in on a place in the final. But I guess, going back to that boxing analogy, I guess that's what Pranith had at the start. He had a puncher's chance. Yes. And no more than that, probably. He's played a very good tournament, beating number four and, and number six seed here in the tournament. Jonathan Christie and Anthony Ginting from Indonesia really deserves to be here. He's played a, a very, very good tournament. But he's up against someone who's got as I mentioned earlier, really nice defence and it's tricky for him to score his points.
of the best rallies of the match and invariably it ends with a Mimota smash and with Pranith flattening his back. Thank you. And that is a, a long rally in the uh, context of this match. Plungeage. You had a 100-plus shot rally earlier in the women's doubles, but anywhere past 20 in this particular contest is a lot. Return to court, Kento. Thank you. Line judge. Thank you. Fifteen five. Oh, that's quick play. Delightful little backhand steer from the Japanese. Great imagination on court. And great hands, too. You just sense some of the fight has gone out of the Indian now. Yeah, it's, it's wrong to say he's lost the plot. I, th I think he, he just don't know what to do. He's, he hasn't got the means today to put Momota under pressure. And I think that's sort of slowly but surely sinking in. But I don't think that Sai Praneeth should be discouraged, even though should he not win this match, I think he has played a very, very good tournament. And he should build upon this. This is the kind of uh, encouragement he needs and to build up his own self-confidence. And I think, and hopefully for him, that we will have good results from him in the future because he is very, very talented and has possibly not achieved to his potential previously. So just a couple more points required. By Kenta Mamata to confirm his place in tomorrow's final. Yeah, I think if he'd offered Praneeth at the start of this event, you know, semi-final place, he probably oh. would have grabbed it with both hands, wouldn't he? He would have taken it with both, ha both hands, that's for sure. A 
well, you have to have to take the hat off for, for uh, Kento Momota. He has been very clinical, not only in this match, but in, in the whole tournament. He has really played well. Yeah, be a brave man to bet against him, retaining his title tomorrow. He's got 12 match points for a place in the final. That's wide, and that's it. 21-8 in the second game. Rather more one-sided than the first, as Pranith rather ran out of steam a little bit and accepted his fate. But nonetheless, an excellent performance from Kento Mamota on court for only 40 minutes and bang on track to retain the title he won 12 months ago. Clinical display from the Japanese. Just what he wanted, really. A workout, but not a major workout before reappearing tomorrow afternoon. A lot of mutual respect there, I think, between those two. Confirmation of the score, 21-13, 21-8. In 40 minutes on court. Coming next, what should be a brilliant women's single semi. Inton on against Okuhara. Stay with us. Welcome back to Basel. Now that we've got...